In this problem, I'm going to show you how to find the reference angle for 212 degrees. So when you're finding reference angles, the most important thing to do first is to draw your angle. So here's our picture. And let's label the important angles. So this is 0 degrees. This is 90 degrees. This is 180 degrees. We're not quite to 212 yet, so let's keep going. Ah, this is 270. So, And then this is 360 as well, if we need it. So now, using this information, we can give a very rough sketch of our angle here, which is 212. We know that it's bigger than 180, so it's going to be down here. So maybe it, it's this. Maybe that's our angle. So there we go. There's our rough sketch of 212 degrees. Okay, so to find the reference angle, the way I do it is, and I highly recommend this, is you draw the angle. So you have to know what it is, okay? So it's the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of our angle, so this, and the x-axis. So in this case, we start drawing it here, and we go down, you see? So it's important to know what it is. Again, it's the positive angle. That means we have to go this way clockwise. And it's made with the terminal side of our angle, which is this blue line here, and the x-axis. So it always connects like this no matter what. So now we need to figure out what it is. What could this possibly be? Well, if this angle here is 212, this green one, we have to find this blue one. Well, we know we've already traveled 180 degrees here. So to uh, find our angle, we just have to take 212 and subtract 180, you see, to get the missing piece. So 212 minus 180, it's pretty easy to do in your head. This is 32 degrees. So our reference angle is 32 degrees. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.